You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you, and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Remember that? Anybody remember that? Oh, very good. Old school. Very good. Baptist churches, I think. Verse 13. Instead of the thorn bush will grow the pine tree, and instead of briars, the myrtle will grow. Maybe a crepe myrtle. This will be for the Lord's renown, for an everlasting sign, which will not be destroyed. Which brings us to the third safest bet. This is a little more personal here. Our response should be demonstrative. Our response should be demonstrative. This is a picture of people responding to God's word. There will be joy. There will be clapping of hands. Let me explain this. This is the type of clapping of hands that will, that will, is not this cheesy church. I'm talking mainly the guys here, you know, the, I just ain't going to do it because I'm too cool. Because I'm too cool too. I understand. I'm a guy and we're way too cool to be clapping in church and raising our hands and crying and getting all emotional. I understand that. But this kind of clapping that the Bible is talking about, that the trees will wave their fields and clap their hands and all this stuff going on, this is six years ago, Arco Arena, playoffs, Lakers-Kings, Game 7 of the Western Conference Championship. Now, we never got to that, but let's just assume we're playing that. But it's six years ago when we had something to cheer about. <laughs> it's Game 7, it's the fourth quarter, there's three seconds on the clock. Tie game, except we just hit a three-pointer to go ahead by three points with three seconds to go, and they have no timeouts. There would not be any man, woman, boy, or girl, or anybody with a pulse, including infants, <laughs> that would respond, glad I came today. This was it's a good ball game. It was a good game. Now, remember, we might do that now, but six years ago, <laughs> six years ago, we're paying $80 for a polo shirt going, what a deal, give me two. We, we bled purple. We, again, we're assuming you're a Kings fan, you like basketball. Let's just assume that for a second. You would go nuts if that happened, especially if the guy shot over Kobe. Yeah! <laughs> Every person in that place would have erupted with cheery men that don't know each other would be full hugging, embracing, kissing one another, hitting each other on the butt. This is the greatest day ever. It was the greatest because of the joy that's in our heart of beating the Lakers in game seven of the conference finals because it's about the who we're playing and it's about what happened and our love and our joy and our excitement about what we just witnessed. There is a demonstration. There is demonstrative actions that happen, and it's unbelievable cheering and yelling and excitement. So for the men particularly, I understand that you are too cool to respond to God's love and joy and movement in your life here in church. But if you don't demonstrate, demonstratively act on what God has done in your heart here in this church service because you're too cool... Where do you show any demonstration of that joy? Now, that's painful to most every single guy in this room. Our response should be demonstrative. Why? Why is it all this cheering? Because of God changing lives.